Hi, howdy. This is, okay, so this is a TIAC AH01 USB DAC amplifier. Basically, I was just using this uh, for my home office desktop setup. So I have a computer and an Xbox connected into it, and then it outputs to either my bookshelf speakers or a pair of headphones. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I just have, I have some Jamo S803s. It powered those guys just fine. And I use a lot of different headphones, but recently I've been using these Barrow Dynamic DT990 Pros, the 250 ohm versions a lot, and it can power those just fine. Just for, for bookshelf speakers, it's it can get more than loud enough for what I need in the small home office setup, and for headphones, it can rupture my eardrums if I have the volume all the way up. I don't think that it will necessarily go loud enough to blow out headphones or anything like that, but... Uh, it can definitely get loud enough. It can get uncomfortably loud if that's what you're looking for in most headphones. I don't know about 600 ohm headphones. I haven't, the most that I've gotten is 250 ohms in there, but it's enough for me. Pretty, um, oh, as far as it being a headphone amplifier too, if you've got an ear attuned to hi-fi audio, doesn't have as much sound stage or, uh, it, it's a little bit more harsh too than some of my other headphone amplifiers. But I used this thing for six months, and I never really noticed that. I think I could fix some of that with EQ. But if you're lo if you're looking for a really, really good headphone amp, this is probably not the solution for you. But for me, it was fine. For most people, it's probably fine as a headphone amp, too. Um, pretty bare bones and inputs and how it works. Just got a power button. Off. On. On. Oh, I made the mistake. I can't believe I did it. Um, I'll explain that in a minute. Power on. It's got a button for which input you have selected. It'll blink if you've got an input selected, but there is no connection. So in this case, I've got USB selected, but I don't have a USB cable connected to the back. It's got a source button to cycle through. I keep these things at arm's reach, so it's nice having these controls. They feel good, too. Power button feels good. Source button feels good. Volume knob feels good. And, of course, it's got a quarter-inch headphone jack. Power button problem I was talking about, if you don't press the power button in all the way, it will power on at this point, but it will also snap right back and power off. So if you have speakers going into it, you'll hear a poo, poo, poo when you release it. Um, so yeah, just make sure it's pressed in all the way, but it's fine. And then on the back, turn this off real quick. On the back, you've got your left and right speaker inputs, a subwoofer out, two line inputs, optical input, coaxial input, and USB input to use it as a DAC. And as a DAC, it seemed to work great for me. I had my computer plugged in via USB here. Um, and without anything playing, I could turn the volume all the way up and I wouldn't hear any noise. Um, as far as the optical connection worked from Xbox, worked fine. I don't really know that I can, I don't even know how to review that. It sounded fine though. I never used a record player with it, though. I never used a subwoofer with it, so I can't speak to how well it works for those things. Based on everything else, though, I'm sure that it works fine. But that's pretty much it for the TAC. That's that's how it works. It's got a remote control. Let's see if I can find that real quick. Kind of a cheap, generic remote control. I think they use it on a lot of products because it's got some stuff on here that you can't do with the amplifier. So on the top, you've got your inputs, but here you've got a play, pause, shuffle, repeat button, and a menu button. I don't think those work with this amplifier. This amplifier cannot control things on your computer, at least according to the instructions. But maybe you can set it up for through infrared or something. I don't know. I've never done it, and I'm never going to. But you've got volume controls and inputs, so that's pretty useful if you're using this thing far away. I always use it as an arms, arms length reach away. So I never needed the remote control. And then here on the instruction manual, um, I just got it open so you can see some specifications if you're interested. I'm not that interested, but you might be. Most notably, the rated power output is 22 watts at 8 ohms and 4 to 3 watts at 4 ohms. But yeah, there you go. A little overview of the TAC AH01. 
Um, if you find it for cheap on eBay and you're looking for an integrated amp for your desktop, I think it's a great buy. Um, if you can't find it cheap, though, I'd probably just get something that's got Bluetooth. Bluetooth is nice. This thing is old. I think it came out in 2012. It's got drivers, though. If you're using it on Windows or Mac, you can get drivers that came out in 2014, and it will still work fine. Well, there it is, TAC, AH-01.